Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for tuning into the channel. Today I want to discuss a handful of unfortunately negative news going on in the cryptocurrency space. Um, and I find it quite odd that all of this news happened uh, in the course of a couple days to each other. And it all has to do with cryptocurrency exchanges. It's almost like it's a it just happens to be a coincidence or something. Um, aside from that, if you guys haven't seen, uh, the cryptocurrency space is having a pretty good run right now bitcoin is up a little over 20 percent on the year right now it just broke twenty one thousand dollars last night and a handful of other altcoins are performing very well um, as well now is this a bull trap it in my opinion it's a little too soon to say but I wouldn't be surprised if it is, um, considering everything in the world is still pretty dog shit right now, uh, whether it's the stock, mar stock market, commodities, bonds, whatever it is, um, people just simply aren't investing their money at the moment or willing to risk their money, especially into uh, something like cryptocurrencies. Now, I could be totally wrong, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, but I do think it's just a smidge too soon to say that uh, we just had our reversal and we are going to uh, work our way back up into a bull market again. Um, we will, again, just have to wait and see over the next week or so, see where Bitcoin goes. If Bitcoin keeps pumping and pumping and pumping and can break past 30,000, uh, that would be pretty insane. And that could really turn the tide for the crypto space and the overall sentiment of the crypto space because as we know the sentiment in the industry right now is pretty negative ever since ftx had their whole collapse uh even before that when celsius and voyager went under as well so what is this negative news i am talking about so first off the department of justice is supposedly preparing indictments against binance now this is all the information we have at the moment but supposedly this is the case now if they do go after binance um it might it, it, it from what i'm aware of they would really only be able to go after just binance.us because binance itself is located outside of the united states but the sole fact that binance would be involved in something like this would be uh, very very bad for not just binance whether it's the u.s company or outside of the u.s uh, but the whole crypto industry because of course binance being the number one exchange and having uh indictments against them against from the uh, department of justice would just be pretty bad across the board so we will have to stay updated on that and see where things go with that next up nexo was just raided by 300 police officers about two days ago um, there is again just like binance no clarification as to what the reasoning is supposedly it has something to do with illegal practices in their company if you guys aren't aware nexo was a is a platform or was a platform very similar to something like celsius that went under uh or even any of these earned platforms that these other exchanges have where they can offer you uh interest on your cryptocurrency holdings um aside from that gemini and genesis <clears throat> were sued this past week by the sec uh and crazy enough the sec is supposedly saying that uh gemini and genesis have been selling unregulated securities which is pretty crazy in my opinion considering both of those have been in the united states running in the united states operating in the united states for years now um and i they they've in my personal opinion maybe i again am wrong i've never seen them come across as sketchy or a platform where i would personally be personally be concerned of using um i know they had a little bit of an issue a couple uh, probably about a month ago now when it came to um uh liquidity 
uh, but that appears to have been resolved and that's not an issue anymore. Either way, it's obviously not an ideal time to probably have a large majority of your assets on a crypto exchange, but the sole fact that uh, the SEC is now going after Gemini and Genesis is pretty laughable in my opinion. Next up, and one that definitely hurts, Crypto.com. If you guys don't know, I am uh, the channel itself is sponsored by Crypto.com. So uh, that being the case, I do provide you guys with news updates uh, and product and tutorial reviews on what they offer. Now that ha that goes both ways, whether it's positive or negative news. Unfortunately, today we have some negative news. Uh, Crypto.com did announce two days ago. <clears throat> that they uh, laid off 20% of their staff. Um, and this is after they already laid off supposedly back in roughly June, they laid off 5% of their staff. Uh, so about 25% right now. Some people speculate that number's actually higher, uh, but it is obviously pretty impossible to know for sure. Uh, but regardless, they did do so. Um, and that's that. They need to keep their their numbers tight right now just like every other company i'm personally not upset with that decision it's definitely unfortunate and who knows maybe crypto.com has to cut me at, from being a sponsor from the channel it's very possible um but at the end of the day you do need to realize they are a company just like all these other companies uh and they have to do what's best to stay afloat because yeah it's great and all keeping all of your employees but if it gets to a point where you can't actually pay all of them and the whole company goes under that's no good for anyone and that's not to say all those employees won't get hired back when things get better down the road um aside from that there is more negative news out of crypto.com uh, about a week ago, Metropolitan Bank in New York City announced they are pulling out support for all cryptocurrency related businesses. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Metropolitan Bank in New York um, is the bank that operates or manages, I should say, the funds with Crypto.com's prepaid Visa cards. So, technically, this is a pretty big deal. Now, as of now, I personally have not had any issues using my prepaid Visa card. Um, I personally obviously don't know the ins and outs of their agreement when it comes to where, where the money actually is when it comes to the prepaid Visa cards when you top it up and all that sort of stuff. It's uh, very hard to say where uh, Metropolitan Bank lies in in regards to the prepaid visa cards but what i can say is my card is currently working no problem yours should be too if you're in the united states and i would be pretty shocked if metropolitan bank and crypto.com did not have an agreement where they are required to give crypto.com notice of these changes and not just pull the plug it'd be very hard to believe metropolitan bank could just walk away in an instant and leave crypto.com hanging out to dry. So I don't think that's the case. Uh, crypto.com obviously is going to have to make some quick decisions when it comes to locating another bank that is suitable to operate their prepaid uh, Visa cards. But me personally, as of now, I am not concerned uh, with, with this whole issue. Um, I think Crypto.com is known to do well under pressure, and they will probably do just fine with this other pretty big bump in the road. Um, so, yeah, guys, that is all the news I have, but I do find it quite fascinating how <clears throat> all the negative news this past week has been all related to cryptocurrency exchanges. And if you've noticed, it's not really necessarily any of these cryptocurrency exchanges coming out with negative news themselves, but more so the fact that multiple government agencies are getting involved with these cryptocurrency exchanges, um, as well as major banks like Metropolitan pulling out completely. And who knows? The, the, the crazy thing with Metropolitan Bank is that they've been involved in the cryptocurrency space for a long time. I'm talking back 
since like 2017 and not just with crypto.com so for them to pull out and really lose out on all the revenue they were probably making from uh, all these cryptocurrency products is a big deal and it's hard to know it pretty much impossible to know if they were confronted by a government agency if uh, there is any incentive for them to pull out of these crypto companies. Obviously, not everything needs to be a conspiracy theory or anything like that. But sometimes you do need to just open your eyes and realize most of the time, things are not coincidences. And I think the past two, two to three years, with all the mayhem going on in the world, there was many scenarios where we could see that uh, a lot of the conspiracy theories ended up being true because people have common sense and they're th free thinkers and they're able to understand that most of the time, like 99% of the time, a lot of things don't just happen at once out of coincidence. So all the exchanges being targeted by government agencies and banks withdrawing, in my opinion, is not a coincidence. Um, but of course, us cryptocurrency enthusiasts have to defend ourselves. We have to fend for ourselves. Um, and I, of course, don't think the crypto industry is going anywhere anytime soon. But of course, we're just gonna have to deal with all of this mayhem uh, moving on in the space. So let me know what you guys think about all of this news today. I would love to know your thoughts. And as always, I will catch you in the next.